Hey Radio Horror YouTube fans, this is Dr. Chris looking at the Scream action figure from NECA. This is uh, Nika, NECA. Um, hopefully when I open this, it doesn't break. They have a tendency to be kind of crappy put together figures, and sometimes they can be okay. Uh, case in point, my fog figure's head broke off and took them about eight, six to nine months to get repaired or replace it. And this is long before COVID-19 became um, the most popular problem ever. So this is the figure still in its box. We are definitely going to open this up because I'm not a keep in the box action figure kind of guy. But I want to take a look at the packaging real quick. There is the ghost face killer himself. Let's see if the light will stop shining on it. All right. And then there's the back. You can take a look uh, really detail about the three different faces. Glow in the dark. And death face. And he has a bloody face. The Icon of Halloween Returns. Yeah, I mean, I understand it's a very popular costume at Halloween time, but the way this is worded makes it sound like it's the icon of the Halloween films, because they do put out the Michael Myers action figures as well. So maybe the icon of the Scream franchise probably would have been what better wording. Um, as you can see, there's some damage done here to the box. That's another reason why I'm opening it. This is, I bought it this actually on um, with a discount. Uh, it was 20% off because of the damage to the box. I guess it's at a Best Buy because they do carry uh, adult-themed action figures. Um, it's funny they just say it's Ghostface and they don't put, like, the Scream logo down below. Ultimate Ghostface action figure. Ultimate Scream action figure. Maybe that has something to do with the copyright with Scream. I'm not 100% certain why. That's rather interesting. Scream does not appear anywhere on the box. It doesn't say he is the killer from Scream. Um... Yeah, I mean, it is definitely the killer of Scream. I don't know which version it is. They all pretty much look the same, you know, one through four, and then, of course, the third season of the TV series. Uh, they, I, far as I'm aware, they have never made an action figure of the uh, first and second season, the Halloween special they did on MTV. So uh, we're going to open this up real quick, but I also thought I'd take a look at another Scream action figure that just came out. This is Toonie Terror's uh, Ghostface. This is a cartoon version of Ghostface. I also have one for Nosferatu, and uh, Jason, these are basically in action figures. The arms move up and down and the knife does come out, but I'm not taking it out. It is actually kind of a pain in the ass to do, but it is very cool. By the way, be very careful of these. I nicked my fingers on it. I didn't cut the skin, but they are a little sharp. So be very careful um, accidentally grabbing this, you know, very roughly. You don't want to grab it too roughly because these points are, are incredibly sharp and they will hit, hit you in the hand in just the right area uh, and send a shockwave up your hand for the nerve. So just, just warning. But the detail in this figure is very cool. I absolutely love the way the mask, the elongated face on this looks and the way you can see that maybe he's like stalking Sidney Bristow or uh, Gale Weathers or Dewey, you know, through the house. And just his cartoony style to him is a lot of fun. Out of all of the Toony Terror figures, I think this looks the most cartoony. Um, the others still look pretty much like their, whoops, like their horror movie counterparts in a lot of ways. And they all look toony. But just the way he has these elongated features and the way his uh, costume just kind of flows as it looks like he's giving him running action, you know, as he's like just pumping his arms forward to stake a uh, stab a victim. You can bring it down here, just like that. It just, it looks, it looks fantastic. Just a really cool looking figure. I've always liked the look of Ghostface. It's such a simple design and, uh, you know, hats off to Wes Craven and his team, the late, great Wes Craven for uh, this iconic character. All right, we're going to unbox now the um, uh, NECA figure. By the way, it comes with a cool backdrop that you can cut out for your figure. So it looks like he's coming right out. So you can put that in the background. And the back, it has the Toonie Terrors. So each one of the Toonie Terrors, by the way, has one of these backdrops that you can cut out. Uh, again, I opened my action figure, so there you go. Okay, so we have the screen figure completely unboxed. Uh, as I said, the packaging for the toy was uh, damaged. Anyway, so I was going to unbox it. Now, all of the masks are uh, pure plastic, so you can't take the mask off to find out if it's like Billy Loomis, or it's uh, Matthew Lillard's character, or it's... Um, you know, the sister from Roseanne, I, I, I did, I'm completely forgetting the different names of the uh, characters from the films. Um, uh, Mrs. Loomis, obviously in Scream 2. 
Um, or Sydney, you know, she wore the costume. But uh, these heads do pop off. Now, here's the thing about the NECA heads. Uh, sometimes the instructions say you want to use a blow dryer to pop the heads off. I think that's really stupid. You shouldn't be able, you shouldn't have to have like other accessories in order to interchange your parts with your toys. Um, I understand these are adult um, collectible action figures. These are not meant to be like roughed house and played with, let's say you're like your kids, transformers or GI Joe's, but uh, you shouldn't have to need another accessory in order to pose your figure or take the head off and interchange the head. So again, here is the death head which I guess is for the scythe, which I think he used this in, or she used this in Scream 4. I'm not 100% certain when the killer used this weapon. A lot of the weapons usually are kind of like stabby elements, like all the little knives. And then you have the voice changer right here, which is really cool. He doesn't come with a cell phone, so he comes with the voice changer. And then he's got uh, additional hands to hold weapons with. And then there is the blood splattered mask. And this mask glows in the dark, which is kind of cool. Um, I think this was like the mask used for Stab, which is the movie within Scream. And then, of course, the ghost face would uh, definitely have blood on his face as well. I kind of hope they would come out with some of the other characters from Scream, like Sydney, of course. But that might all have to do with licensing rights with the way the actor looks. So we're going to put the... A uh, knife in Ghost's ha face's hand. What I did learn is that this little knife goes in this hand, and this hand is, these two hands are for these knives and the scythe. So each hand is for a different weapon. Some of the weapons do not fit in the hands, and then of course the voice changer does fit into the other hand that he is holding with his finger on the button to change his voice uh, when he makes his threatening phone calls. So there you have it. Uh, the legs have a bit of articulation. They have these kneecap things, like little bumps in the kneecaps, which if you've seen the most recent Masters of the Universe figures, they have a lot of those. He's got his traditional boots. You can't see who he is underneath, but he's wearing basically all black. But once again, it is a pretty imposing figure, to say the least. I absolutely love the design of this figure. I absolutely love his mo you know, mobility. Uh, if you remember Todd Toys or McFarlane Toys, the Movie Maniac Toys came out with a, go with a ghost face killer toy years ago, and the articulation on those was not that great. So I do give it up to Nika that this is a very good figure. It did not break. My hat's off to them for giving me a figure that did not just fall apart as soon as I took it out of the package, which their toys are notorious for, and their customer service does not care. Um, <laughs> I have tons of emails and text messages from them proving that, by the way. Um... But uh, this is a fantastic figure. Uh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the cloth design you can see. So he's running and he's got the, you know, what are these, whatever these things are called from the uh, cloak. Uh, so he's running after Sydney or something. Or you put a little fan in front of him, have it blowing. Um, th this is just a very well put together figure. The, I mean, it's just amazing detail and absolute great sculpting too. Good mobility as well. Um, definitely going to put maybe put the scythe in his hand, but I'll probably put him on display like this, fighting my Cassie Hack action figure, as there is a new Cassie Hack action figure coming. Check out the rest of the videos here on the Radio Horror YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and comment. And go to your local Walmart, Target, or local comic book store like That's Entertainment, um, or maybe Harrison Comics in Salem to find your ghost face killer NECA figure. Thank you, everyone.